Hello and welcome to another update video about SUI. On the SUI chart, we can still see um, an active uptrend, absolutely no signal that we have started a larger pullback. Before we dive further into the microstructure, wanted to show you the larger time frame, bigger picture, long term chart, which we don't take a look at very often. <clears throat> um, so this is sort of the long term chart hasn't changed in a long time. The roadmap has been um, for a rally, you know, into this region, obviously. And the idea would be that we are in the yellow scenario in which we would get another 4-5 pattern. If we're really bullish, things go well, we could get another 4-5 pattern eventually. But overall, in this entire move up that started in August, we've been watching for a five wave move up, wave one, two, we could still be in the third wave, then one more for five that could complete the bull market for SUI. That's pretty much in line with Bitcoin's wave count. But if things go well and we get another further extension, we could get another four or five pattern. OK, but so it, it makes sense to watch for that. And um, the idea, however, I would not, let's say. I would not rely on it. I, I would not rely on it. Um, on that last four or five pattern, yeah? So the idea is the C wave is expected, maybe another four or five. And then if we get these five waves up, well, that could be a really long-term bullish signal. I mean, if SUI only forms three waves up, not great, but I can, I can definitely see the potential for five waves. I mean, it's just like, let's see if we can fulfill the C wave first, which I expect. And then we are watching for another higher low, you know, that, um, but, it, you know, first of all, we need to see if the price can complete the five wave pattern from the August low, which would involve, as I said, another four five pattern anyway. Important is to understand that we regularly have to adjust the support area as the price climbs higher for this fourth wave in the C wave. That's important because um, <clears throat> by doing this, we can ensure that we stay in line with the trend. And at the moment, support is around $1.62, $1.63. The support hasn't broken since we've started this uptrend. We obviously have to give the price a little bit of space, but support is still holding. And um, at the moment, I, you know, I wouldn't get bearish until the price breaks below 162. That's a sharp or let's say quite a deep pullback. Yeah, but that's the main risk level and we just have to give the price some flexibility or no we, well some space we had a pullback here that was end of october but also here support did hold okay and we don't want to we have to give the price a little bit of space to move and to breathe so um yeah idea is that even within this larger third wave within wave c in the yellow scenario we could get one more four five pattern um and that means the price could target 430 next we're going to take a look at that on the smaller time frame but as i always say you know if you participate in the larger move and sui was definitely an opportunity it kind of makes sense to uh, not get too focused on microstructures unless you really just want to trade the short term um, but when we look at only the short term, you see here, I just talked about that 420, 430 level, which is up here. It's the next upside FIB level to watch. On this smaller time frame, we could still see another, as I said, 4-5 pattern. So watching here for maybe another higher low and another higher high. Key support on the smaller time frame is 250. And as long as we're watching, or as long, no, as long as we're respecting 250, we could get that one more high. Um, at the moment, the assumption would be we get it, but I haven't got any signal that this internal third wave is done. So, we, you know, it's chopping around there, essentially. This is the support area. This is the risk area. You know, the price technically in this scenario could get a pullback to 250 and then still go up. That has to be considered. Any break below 250, however, would be a good indication that we have started the larger fourth wave there. Circle four with support at 162. And I, I, do, I would need to see a pullback into that support zone to really have a confirmation that this fourth wave has started because this could all still be sort of a bit of chopping around in that move up here still. Overall, we're still printing highs, higher lows. We have two support areas that protect the price from falling. And um, 
that's typically quite good. So overall, no reason to be bearish and pullbacks could be seen as opportunities. That's the update about Sui. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.